this week on a very special unboxing. <laughs> Sorry guys, I couldn't resist. It is actually a pretty special it unboxing. Is. This is a tank raised saltwater, sorry, captive bred, there is a difference, <laughs> captive bred saltwater fish order from our friends at Biota. I think there's something in these boxes that each one of us individually is very excited about. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> I also want to say that I'm pretty sure that these might have different origin because Biota's spaced out a little bit because this yeah. box is different than this box. Ooh. Can we stop talking and open fish now? Yes, yeah. please. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll take that. Packing slip. Look, I sliced it in half. <laughs> I'll need that for my paperwork. Too. Yeah, before we started recording, Ben was just hacking at the boxes <laughs> in the night. Let me in! <laughs> what is it? That's gotta be a sea eye. Oh, it is. No, that cardinal, right? It's twice the size I was expecting it, that's but yes, great. that's gotta be a sea eye cardinal. Very cool. Wow. I am. Like, really impressed with the size of these. I thought those were going to come in like half an inch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, these yeah. are great. Oh, oh, what a cool group. Tank raised yeah. sea like cardinals. That is just, ah, I get chills when I think I about know. tank raised marine fish. And this is, this is a, a, it's even a fish that we don't get wild caught no. often. These um, guys are tank raised. Big enough, they might not need a critter keeper. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And they're supposed to be, you're supposed to be able to keep these in a group more long term, right? That's fantastic. There are so yeah. few saltwater fish, or at least aquarium appropriate fish, that do yeah. well in groups in aquariums. Yeah. Those look great. Ah, very cool. All right, we're going to have to get creative on figuring out what these fish are, because what do we got? Oh, this clam. is clam! <laughs> All right. Put these over here. That's big. Yeah, that's a good sized clam. You're not even going to let Charles look at it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Urchins. It's oh. a Durasa clam, if everyone's wondering. <laughs> That's okay, Charles. There are more. Uh huh. Those are neat urchins. Ooh, this one's even a bigger Durasa. Are these some sort of pincushion <laughs> urchin? Oh, I forget the species, but I it's it one of the ones that it's yeah. one that they breed. You guys are looking at urchins, and I'm looking at all these cool clams. Ooh, <laughs> look at the size of that clam. That's Whoa. big. Let me piece I it like together. It. That you seems, guys keep, you guys like, I want to look at the clam. Uh-huh, uh-huh, too bad. Ah. Might be uh, something for a... Uh, oh, that looks like a maxima. I think we only got the uh, Yeah, oh, yeah. there's one squamosa. Oh, this is oh. a squamosa. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big squamosa. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm really impressed by this. Very these. nice. Very, very nice. Well, good for you, by the way. Goodness. Thanks, <laughs> Well, one thing to keep in mind with the Duracas that we're getting from Biota here is they're a different hold. source of origin than our uh, usual source, so their pattern and color is probably the same. <laughs> <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> don't, don't do love that. the clams, guys. <laughs> love the clams. Mm. Very cool. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. What else we got? What else we got? Wait, there was one left. <laughs> She's kidding. There wasn't. Oh, look, they even know our name. Aww. This should be all fish, right? Whoa. Wow. Yeah, it should be That's mostly fish, fish. fish. No, there's coral. There's there coral, coral in here, okay. too. Ooh. Nice. Some striped fang blennies. My goodness. Look how fat that guy is. And the color, it's green. Fang blennies are the, it's one of my coolest examples of uh, defense from predators. Mm -hmm. So they're called a fang blenny because they do have these outward protruding little fangs. You can see them pretty clearly. Those fangs are specifically designed to bite the inside of another fish's mouth. <laughs> That's a last ditch ever <laughs> right there. That's their defense. <laughs> but they've got those stripy bright colors to warn fish, you might want to reconsider the idea of eating me because I'm gonna cause some severe pain. Yeah. If you eat one, you're probably not gonna eat a second one <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> yep. Very cool. Oh, there's another there one. There's another one. Wow. Love those fang blennies. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Oh, is that a trimagobi? Yes. Oh, cute. This is one of the few saltwater fish that I approve for a five gallon tank. Mm hmm And is a stunning centerpiece for a five gallon tank. They'll get a little bit bigger than this. This is very small. We have kept them in groups without any problems. Really cool, bright red little gobies. Love them. There's more. I think we got two varieties, right? 
Uh, yes, we did. We got the, oh. <laughs> oh. We got, these are the white spotted trimas. There's okay. another one in here, too. Very cool. All right, so this is the cutest darn little <laughs> file fish that I've ever seen. And he's looking at me like, guys, I'm not happy. <laughs> guys, I'm a piece of algae, Adorable. don't see me. <laughs> <laughs> There's, that's a court gesture, right? Yes, that, that should be, a, that wow. Is. It's huge. Yeah, I kind of forgot they got this pig. <laughs> Tank raised court gesture gobies. Oh, that's cool. so incredible. Look at the color, look how dark it is. That's so pretty. He's so mad at us. I know. <laughs> he just tried to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you touching me? <laughs> nice. oh you gotta my. have some respect for a fish like that. <laughs> yeah, you do. Those are, it's another, wow. The yeah. hobby is coming a long ways with oh, tank race court gesture gobies. Amazing to see. Yeah. Speaking of coming a long ways, an amazing fish. Look at these. <gasps> oh. These are two tank race corby oh, captive I bred. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta say captive bred because captive that's bread what they are. Tank this race. is not just tank captive race. bred, and then you like put them in the ocean and like <laughs> <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> no. That is very captive cool. Bread. Oh, and they came in much better size this They're time. They're beautiful. Too. They're absolutely beautiful. It's amazing to see how every shipment we get from these guys gets better. It you does. know, yes. I'm rooting for them so hard. I know, and produce amazing fish. <laughs> and produce like such cool fish. At that size, those core beauties should be able to pair up. The last pair, the last two that we got, we kept them as a pair and we sold them as a pair, and they're doing great. Somebody said. Sweet. Yep. Very nice. There's another trima. I think. Yeah, that's Is that the other one. No, I think that's still a white spotted one. The other one should be stripy. Maybe we already trima? unpacked a stripey one. They're Maybe so we did. small. Well, here's some cute little fang blennies. Cute. That's the bicolor flame. I don't remember what the common name of this fang blenny is, but another cool fang blenny. Blue front, yellow back. Mm -hmm. I think this is, I think I prefer this one to the stripes. Do you? Yeah, I don't know. Something about that tail shape and yeah, it's a color. Harp tail fang blenny. That's yeah. what they are. There we go. Is that the striped tree? Oh yeah, they call it an astronaut Toby. <laughs> wow. Very pretty. Love it. Yep. Look at the turquoise on that Ooh. file fish. A little yeah. bigger than the other one. Good at Tasty and file fish, like right? Like mint color. <laughs> Ben's favorite. Oh, <laughs> well, these are the ones that they they have symbiosis with Anthelia and Pulsing Xenia. Oh. So their color pattern is going to be designed to match those corals. Mm. Very cool. Another Trima. Nice. I love all these teeny little gobies we're getting in. Okay, yeah, and in the bag it's really hard to tell which one is which. Look at these files that they ship together. <laughs> that tells me that they can live together. We definitely got two distinct varieties of file fish with mm -hmm. their colors being fish in the bag colors. It's going to be really hard for us to tell the difference, but yep. we got matted and radial. Okay, I think these are the matted, the radial okay. ones are the ones that, that uh, swim with the Antalya coral, the Antalyas. All right, and then we got corals. Hey. Oh, that's hey, right. Did. <laughs> <laughs> this is an assortment of toadstool leathers, right? Yes, I think we got a 10 pack, and I'm very excited about it because yeah. I want to pick and choose. There should be some that have white polyps, some that have long polyps. There might be some green polyped one in there. We don't know. We'll find nice. out. In case you didn't know, uh, since we work here and we get first dips, that we totally abuse that power. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, just. A lot of everyone knows yes. that. <laughs> if you put in the order, you get dibs above us, but everybody else, you've got to go in between. <laughs> so if you want cool toadstool leathers, you better get here before Amy gets her hands all over them. <laughs> that one tried to get away. Did it bite you? They are animals, and they do behave they like do. animals. <laughs> I learned that's a Midwestern thing. Whoop! Whoop! Yep. Oh! <laughs> and then we got some uh, zoanthids. I think just one Zoantha frag, just for fun to see how they do. That All one's right. still a toaster. Oh, that is a toaster. There it's we go. It's just a squished down one. <laughs> nice. Very cool stuff. That's what we got. The fish are going to go through our classic uh, quarantine process mm -hmm. with the tank race stuff, captive bread stuff. We do just a two week on that because we know they've never been in the ocean. They've mm -hmm. never been exposed to those diseases. Mm -hmm. So we watch them close for a couple of weeks just to make sure that they're okay. So these will be coming up soon. Uh, the corals, we're going to put them through a quick dip, put them in the tank. They'll be available today. Mm -hmm. Let us know if yeah. there's something in this order that you want or if there's something you want us to order next time. But either way, the way to know what we're getting in first is to subscribe to videos like this. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's really the honest truth. <laughs> <laughs> we did do a really cool podcast on tank race, captive bred versus wild caught. That's mm -hmm. a pretty interesting talk if you guys are interested in that. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, follow us on Instagram and mm -hmm. Facebook and all of those social media things you crazy kids are doing these days. We're easy fine. Yeah, you guys have fun out there, but I gotta get my hands wet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.